I ain't gotta touch the block. Hey guys. Got stock in that shit. No more mops in the whip. I'm married to that cake, but he cracked with my shit. For 10 years, I ain't have a pot just to piss. Towards a robbery with that Glock on my hip. Running out of time like a clock don't exist. So I can't stop this sprint. I gotta win a race. At all costs for that smile on my son's face. Been murdered up the street. Just another We're about to interview Beretta Biz. Dropping tears on the lace. Can't bang with you again. Southside Philly artist. I gotta invite him. We will be doing two interviews today, guys. One will be on Facebook uh, with Beretta Biz. He's here, so I'm gonna actually we're gonna bring him in now on Facebook. And the other interview will be with Wiz Hofa on Instagram. Okay, so we'll be doing 20 minute interviews tonight. If you guys want to tune in or you know just leave comments, we appreciate that. All are welcome, okay. How are good. you? Good. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Great. Okay, good. How good. you been? I'm good. I can't complain. It's been a long week, but... You know it. How about, how about yourself? I, I, you know what? I was just saying the same thing. I don't even know what the day of the week is. I'm like, yeah, these yeah, days are just going by so fast. I'm like, it's I'm, just I'm, crazy. Yeah, I, I gotta agree. <laughs> you know? But we making it. We making it, bro. We making it. Yeah. So I'm glad I got you on the show because I am like a super fan of yours. I know, and I I, I appreciate you. For Yo, me. I am Thank like, I am like, dude, like you are God sent. Like there is like, there's never a song that I can't relate to with you. You know what I mean? Uh, and I just think that comes from real life shit. Like, and that's the things that you speak about. And it's just like. The way you formulate it and the way you deliver it is like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. you don't get that just overnight. So how long have you been yeah. doing this? Uh, actually, well, I've been doing it consistently probably for 10 years, I would say. But I, I started rapping like I realized I could rap when I was like nine years old. Really? The school play. Yeah, like the school play called for the role that I was in to write a rap and I had no clue I could rap but I just you know I, I was up for the challenge and I did the rap and you know what I'm saying like it was comfortable everything that that I wrote down just flowed it just uh, went a little bit and then when <laughs> I got to like grade me and one of my buddies named James we decided we was gonna start a little rap duo and uh we started writing songs we never did you know record or anything like that but it was just you know, it was just kind of cool to find somebody else young that that could to be do a it. Yeah. That's always your inspiration too. You know, like your friends and the yeah. people around you and and things like that. Because I remember, like growing up, we used to do like all the battles, like the the um, dance battles. Like that was like the thing to get out the hood. Was like you're gonna be the next, you know, dancers in the in having that I whole choreography and rehearsals and we would go to talent shows and perform and it was just because you were around the people that inspired you to do those things so that's always good to have those people to bring you out of your shell you know true 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 i wasn't much of a dancer though <laughs> so tell me this what um where are you located now? Because I know before when we were talking about doing a show in Philly, I know you said that you no longer reside there. Are you close to there or? No, I'm, I'm in the South now, actually. I live in Memphis. Well, actually, I've been in Memphis for a while. Um, really? Yeah, Memphis, Tennessee. I want to get to Memphis. Memphis be popping. And uh, the music I, scene is I, there. It is. It's a lot of uh, local talent. It's a lot of, like, underground guys that i'm a fan of you know uh -huh. here and in philadelphia right you know like both cities are similar in my opinion and you know like 
the whole vibe of both cities. So I, I adapted when I moved down here. I was able to adapt pretty well. Quickly. That's dope. That's dope. And I know there must be like all type of music outlets and circuits and things like that. So are you performing out there? Like before this all happened, what was, what was your performance uh, like? Yeah. Well, I was, I was doing shows here and there. I actually got a show coming up um, in June. That's my next show. But um, I would do shows here and there. Uh, I was doing a lot more open mics probably five years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I was doing more showcases and stuff like that just to, you know, just to get comfortable being on stage and stuff. And um, I started, around that time, I wasn't focusing so much on the craft of music. So in the past five years, I figured I need to start, like, going harder and making better songs. So mm-hmm. I kind of not put, I didn't necessarily put performances to the side, but I wanted to focus more on, on the craft. my craft and, yeah, and being a better artist. So And I you're doing it. Shows here and there. Yeah, you're doing it and that's you know it's it's funny that you said that because a lot of people don't understand that it's definitely you have to be you know focused on one aspect of it at a time and you can't just go from you know like from shows to this to that because you have to have all those frames like you have to have all those things down pack and mastered and just to understand that you're disciplined enough to know like that i know that though about you you know what i mean just by the things you talk about in your music right and it really just came from like seeing like other people live like like kind of like um i guess you would call it industry rappers seeing them live and it's like man i want to kind of you know recreate that sound but i felt like my music wasn't there yet like i could i could get on stage i don't have no problem getting on stage and performing but it's like i want to have you know, like a memorable show. I want people to be like, yo. This that was, th- this that, type. You, know what you know what's so funny, Biz, is that I, the first, not, I don't want to say the first show. Well, there was two shows that were inspirational to me. One was MC Light and Chub Rock. I went to a show when I was about nine or 10, maybe. And Chub Rock didn't perform. He said that the right. mics weren't working. MC Light came oh, out man. there and she smashed it. Like made yeah. him look like, Really? Like, that's your excuse? Like, an artist, uh, an entertainer is going to take the mic no matter what. You know what I'm saying? They're going to make it work. And especially to have all those people come out, like, I didn't understand it then. But after being in the business, you understand that the show must go on regardless. Like, mics or not. Like, this is this is show business. Right. Like, and you don't want to leave that bad impression on people. Um, right, right, right. My next show was Diddy. Diddy is an entertainer. I, hands down, any bad boy show I ever went to, I was entertained. I was out my seat the whole time. So that, to me, is a show. And like you said, you want to be able to put on a show. You know, so that's that's important. That's that's definitely a part of it. You know what I mean? And I think artists like you who understand the business and understand how important staging and things like that are, are going to be very successful at it. You know, so right, right, right. I look forward to seeing you perform. And any help yeah, that I can I'm, do, definitely I'm here for. Yeah, and, and I'm planning on, like, trying to set up something on the East Coast because I'm still Philly, you know, to death. Of so, course. You know I'm saying? It's nothing, like, where, where are you located? You located I'm in New England. Right? Yep, Massachusetts. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, so, like, I, I, I've been trying to put together, like, a little small circuit tour like up the east we gonna coast. have you up here I trust like me be- trust me i have to meet you face to face like that uh, is a given you know what i'm saying like that for me i was like dude like this one is the one like i don't i don't necessarily pick people like that you know what i'm saying and you tiff a couple of other artists that i've been supporting and dealing with and and just focusing on are the people that I see the the continuous effort and the consistency with. And and also the growth. You know, so that for me, like every time you just get better. And I'm just like, oh my God, he's gonna go, he's gonna be famous, and I'm not even gonna get to meet him. Like that, you know, for me is like I just know it's gonna be in your future. You know what I'm saying? And anybody that I let listen to your music, they're like, where is he? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, you know, so that's where. Uh, thank you. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. 
definitely, definitely. I'm always showing you out, always showing you love, always trying to at least let you know that there's genuine people out there that really love and respect what you're doing, you know. And I want people to know how and how 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 valuable you are. You know what I'm saying to this culture because it's important to have voices like you. It's important to have that music that touches your soul. And that's why I always call your music soul rap because it's just that rap that you can, no matter what, a real person is going to respect it. So tell me. And that's kind of like a, that's like a test. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, like, no, go ahead. It's, it's crazy you call it soul rap because like just growing up and I used to, I used to be with my grandmother a lot and she was like really into oldies and stuff like that. So that type of music is what really got me into music. So, you know, you're thinking like music back in the 60s and 70s and all that type of stuff. So that's what got me into music and just loving music. So it's, it's kind of weird that, uh, not weird, but it's just, you know, uh, that I make the music that I do is probably because of that. Because of that. And that's, but you know what? It's it's all coincides with each other. You need, you know, right, that, right, right. that inspiration and that music that you feel familiar with. You know what I mean? So, right. and you embody it to a point of where I'm like, wow. Like, even the last video that I seen with the live band, I was like, impressed because that was something that I really wanted for you. Um, that was something that I talked to my own being that I do booking and stuff like that for. And I said, listen, okay. there's this guy that I know that I know he would sound great behind a live band. And the yeah. next thing you know, look at here it is. And I'm like, my he did it. <laughs> that's like you're on it. Like, and that's what is going to separate you from a lot of different people. You know what I mean? And I think that, that's the, the 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 authentic part of you is that you know that you have friends so i respect yeah, yeah. that what else have you had what else do you have going on in regards to your projects or music or anything else um right now uh, i've actually just got done shooting a video another video i plan to put out it's still in the works um that was last week uh i'm i'm always in the studio i'm constantly in the studio at least you know like once every two weeks, I'm, I'm like doing like three or four songs at night. Wow. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I, I got a few projects I'm working on, like all together. Um, so let's see. I got, I know I got like two EPs and an album I'm trying to put out before the years out. The album's going to be, the album's going to be very good. Everything's going to be good, but the <laughs> album I'm really the most excited about. Right. One of the EPs is, is going to be like, kind of something different it's gonna be a little darker than most people would expect from me uh-huh um, you know called trap this i wasn't i wasn't supposed to even say the title but i'm gonna do a trap album oh you are well you know biz yeah, but... it was funny when i seen you with the with the with the with the gun in the in the video i was like oh whoa whoa i wasn't expecting that because you've never displayed that side of you i know it's there but i i didn't see that before so i was like Oh, whoa, okay. But we, we all got a story to tell. We all got a story to tell, you know? So I was like, you know, but it's it gives you the real the realness. You know what I'm saying? Is that don't judge a book by its cover because you just never know what people have been through and I think that you're very humble, you know what I'm saying? And whatever you've been through. So and that shows through your music. You know what I'm saying? Is that at least you're trying to give back and show people the right way. Even though, you know, we all make mistakes, like Learn from my mistakes. And I think that's what your music speaks to me about, you know? So okay. that's, that's, that. that's definitely, that's, I, I, like I said, I've always said, I want to hear you and J. Cole on a track together. Like, I think that would be like a dope man, track. Cole is one of my all-time favorites, man. I love that dude. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everybody's putting hearts. Yeah, y'all know it, right? Y'all going to see it. And y'all going to be like, T was right. That was a platinum. That was a platinum hit right there. So tell the tell the fans, tell the people about you. Tell them what, you know anything you want them to know about you, like who you are as an artist. Um, um, I'm, I mean, I'm still growing. Um, I'm just into like, the, like uh, the the music itself has always. The platform itself has always got to be smooth. Like that's just me. I love I love to make music that people can get in their car and hit the highway 
and ride to, you know, like whenever ride the music. I'm the song. Yeah, like that's that's what's on my mind. It's like the nighttime, you know, and people just cruising. So that's that's kind of that's kind of how I approach every song. Um, as far as me uh, as a person, I mean, I'm just like anybody else, really. I'm I'm, I'm highly into like fashion. And shoes. Uh, I know you like sneakers. I've seen your sneaker um, uh, yeah, reviews. Yeah, I love, I love <laughs> yeah man. Um, hmm. So, other than that, oh, tell I me. <laughs> oh no, no. I I thought you were. I can't. I think we're having a delay with the with the conversation. Oh, really? So that's why I don't know if I'm if I'm picking up when you're leaving off or not. But um, tell me, um, who has been your biggest inspiration in regards to artists or an artist that you're interested in working with in the industry? Uh, early on, my biggest inspiration was probably it, it, start, starting off hip hop for me. Like I said, I, I didn't. I started off like in like R and B and soul and stuff like that as a young kid. But the but like rap. What made me love rap was Mace. Mace. Mace is a Mace yeah, and Betha. You know rap. that. Yeah, like, yeah, like can't no more on that. Can't nobody hold me down. Like that. That was crazy to me. That was my so boo. It was him. Yeah, it was him, and then like Jay Z for the longest time. You know, mm-hmm. like, I still love Ho. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jay Z, uh, Beanie Siegel. He grew up kind of like down the street from me so you know you can't be from philly and not respect beans mm-hmm. they probably call that mm-hmm. um Cass, cassidy he was a, he was a big uh you know big part of me wanting to be like real lyrical and, and and you know use bars and stuff in my music right but the biggest probably the biggest inspiration for me is a uh, rapper named currency i don't know if you ever yeah i know who currency is yep yeah, yeah so currency. you like currency yeah, that's, that's, that's one of your guy, biggest. Man. Okay. I, 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 yeah, I gotta, I gotta work with him one day, man. I listen to him every day. You do? Yeah, it's real. See, I've only heard of him like through different people and things like that. I don't really follow his music or anything. So now you're gonna make me go check it out, just because yeah, you're I, inspired by him. <laughs> yeah, and uh, what I, what I inspire, what I'm inspired most by him um, is really like his work ethic. And I try to match it, you know, maybe not match it, but I, I just try to stay on that kind of level with him. He put out he put out so many different records and tapes and stuff throughout the years. For like the past 10 years, he probably got 100 mixtapes and albums all together. That really? And that, I, I just respect that because the quality has never gone down. Gone down. Out of all those projects. So, you know, it's just an inspiration for me. It's like, keep going, man, keep going. That's awesome, Biz. Like, I definitely, like, am glad that we got this time to talk because now I get to know a little bit more about you personally, but also, you know, just the, the things that motivate you and inspire you and are also inspiring to me, you know, and other people out here, you know? So that's always important to have these type of conversations and interviews and uncandid interviews with artists because you never really know what the person's thinking behind the music, you know, so, right. or what, where they're going with it. Um, right. Tell me what would you say is the hardest challenge that you faced in the music industry right now? Mm, hardest challenge? Um, probably growing my fan base. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty much a, like a people person. Um, so it's like, man, I, I can easily reach people like face to face and stuff like that. I'm, I'm constantly promoting that. Right. Way. I think, I think the whole internet marketing thing is where I'm like struggling at. I'm struggling with that. So it's like get my music to cross over. But you know, thankful to people like you and, and you know, others that really, you know, constantly share my music and stuff like that. That means a lot because you know, I don't know there's different eyes on me now. Of course. Years. Every this is this is my whole point with people and, and them understanding what this internet is about, you know, is that yeah. we have to share and show and put eyes on the people because 
they might not necessarily be able to reach the people that are in our network. So this is where it's like, I'm like, I'm all about that. You know, I'm all about trying to give those people like yourself opportunities to be seen because how else, you know what I mean? And this is uh, like, again, it goes into marketing budgets, things like that. And you also have to have a campaign, you know, a campaign that's going to bring some type of notoriety or attention or gain more followers for you. Um, and we find that now it's more about the interaction. You know what I mean? Asking people open-ended questions. Um, to gain responses um, and then that way you can kind of you know build from there um, a lot of artists don't understand the importance of working with their fan page opposed to their personal page um, the fan page is something that you can reach a lot more people with um, I'm not necessarily always too keen on working on the fan page just because it's it's a whole different base you know of people yeah. um, but right. If you work on it and if you build it and if you put some type of marketing and promo into it budget um, through Facebook, you can definitely reach and gain more people um, and you can definitely get something where it's, you know what I'm saying? Like we have a couple of different services that we offer and we'll talk about that later um, at some point and it's reasonable, you know what I mean? But in regards to growing your fan base organically and just giving people the opportunity to see you. Like I try to do that because I know that there's people in my network that would, that love your music. And I'm like, listen, like I want to share the wealth. I want to share this gift to the world. You know, like this is a gift. Like you are a gift. And that's where I think people need to understand in our, in everyone's network is that all the music and things that we're sharing are gifts to, you know, give of artists that are out here that, you know, that we can support and just view and just see and, and really just support their music, you know? So that's always my goal, you know, with you guys is that to make sure that people understand that you're reachable that you're there, that, you know, they can request you. It's okay. You know, and I think that's the part with Facebook that's kind of hard because some people feel like, oh, I don't want to overstep my boundaries and and, and request this person. But all my friends are your guys' friends too, okay? I'm very very cordial, very open, you know. Send me a friend request. I I think I might be at my limit, but send me a, uh, give me a follow. You can follow me on Instagram. You can still follow. Instagram's better. And we have to learn how to manage all those networks. You know, that's as an artist, though, from a management perspective, I would say find someone else that can manage it for you, whether it be myself hiring or an intern or someone like that. But because sometimes you don't have the the time to go in and interact with these people and like or do these things that are going to generate more traffic to your to your um, social media. So these are the things that you can, you know, definitely reach out to me. I'll give you a list of any services, anything that, you know, I think that would be helpful to help you grow your media. I'm always there for that, bro. Always like that's, that's not even a question. You know what I'm saying? Like we can definitely work on that in the next couple of months and figure out what's needed for you. Um, on the social media side, that's not an issue. Um, but in regards to like, Oh, I have one other question, and then I'm going to let you go, because I know we have Wiz. We're actually six minutes late. Um, We have Wiz coming. Um, So the one other question is, what is the the most positive thing you've seen happen during the pandemic? Um, I feel like I'm I'm seeing a lot more people uh, realizing that you don't need to spend are saving more and they noticing the benefits of saving right me included because i'm i'm very free with my money right (laughs) right i get paid i'm ready to go exactly um but it's be it's it's now teaching you preservation right 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 and and um you know i know you asked about the positive but one of the negative things I, i feel like socially like it'll hurt people though like i feel like being in your home being forced to stay in your home so much it's gonna force people to not want to come out i feel like i feel like social media is about to spike spice you know yeah this will be the only way to communicate 
And it right, sucks. Right, like face to face is that's that's almost out of here. That's like extinct. It's stuck. You know what, Biz? You know what's so funny is that when Texan first came out and like pages and all that, I was like all into it. I was like, oh, this is perfect. I don't gotta talk to people. Like they could just text right. me. Now right. I'm getting older and I'm getting pissed because Texan right. can be so misconveyed and misconstrued that I'm like, what yeah. the fuck do you mean? What like didn't you understand right. what I just said? Like now I gotta call you because. I don't fucking understand what you're talking about. Like, it's like this yeah, whole hey, communication factor <laughs> is different. And people are that's becoming true. so dumb and dormant yeah. that I'm like, this is what we resort yeah. to, to just pressing a button and saying, oh, I seen you today. I like you. Like, it's just there was this movie that was it talked about that, like where it talked about like in like the 2000s, how it was going to be like, um, Ah, uh, it's called this. Oh, what is it called? It's called something like where they like become vegetables. Like people are gonna become vegetable state. Like where we're just so like we're gonna be fat, obese, and out of shape because we don't have to move. We don't have to do anything. Like you can literally do everything from your chair, and that's just not healthy for us. That's not healthy for us mentally or anything. So it's like sometimes I have to tap out of this. Mm mm. Like, I have to tap out of this and get back to the reality and, and the real, like, the people around me. Because I think sometimes we get caught up in this world that we forget that there's a world going on around us, you know? And sometimes this is smoke and mirrors. Like, it's not, it's not you know what I mean, what, what you think it is. But, hey, some people, that's how they've lived their life now. And I get it. You know what I mean? But... You got to tap out and definitely see what's going on around you because That's right. it's a whole world out here for us, I swear. you know, but I look forward to building with you more and having more conversations. I want you to definitely hit me up when your next track or your next single or EP drops so that we can bring you back on the show and talk about that and see where it goes. Sounds good. I appreciate you having me. Of course, you. Of course, make sure you tell the people um where they can reach you at on your social medias. Uh, yeah, follow me uh, on. Where's I'm coming? Twitter at uh, Beretta underscore Biz. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Beretta Biz. Uh, look up my music. I'm everywhere, Beretta Biz. Check he is the right truth. There. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> I get amped every time I hear his music. Every time. That's All right, Biz. I'll be in touch, though, for sure. Okay. All right, honey. You be good and have a good night. No, All right. Be blessed and safe. Bye. All right, honey. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. So now let's see where we are. Yo, his energy is so real. Like, I, I'm telling you, y'all, y'all don't even understand who y'all just dealt with right now. But y'all better go listen to his music, okay? Wiz, I need you on... Uh, are you on here? Wiz, are we doing Facebook or are we doing um, Instagram? Because it looks like I see you on Facebook. But I don't see you on Instagram. So now we have DJ. Hey. I see you on Instagram. You don't? Nah. I'm here. I'm here. Hold on. Let me go back. Nah, I definitely don't see you. No? Let me go out and try to go back in. Hold on. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, 